Hi there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim. So excited to do this reading today for you. It is a reading, um, it's a spread. Well, it's, it's, I don't know how the spread's gonna look, but I've come up with a title for my new um, spread for you. It's called Beating the Odds. And it's basically just gonna pull cards for spirit to let you know things that you need to handle with to beat the odds. And um, I think this is something I'm pretty familiar with. So let's get into your reading, my sweet Leos. Always thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for commenting. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate the love. I do appreciate it when um, kind things are mentioned in the comments. Thanks. So if you don't see your message, sometimes the automatic filter will take out some messages so i will you know just try to post it again if it doesn't come up and um i'll take another look at it but so <clears throat> getting into your reading is a beating the odds let's just go ahead and make up this spread as we go all right leo's <sighs> what are the main issues for leo's to beat the odds what are the main issues Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this is Osha Zen Tarot. Um, it is, I, I got it off of Amazon. Okay, Leo, this is telling you exactly what you need to do to beat the odds. Now, I don't know what order because, you know, as we are human, we like to do things in order. <laughs> Even though sometimes that might not be how everything's arranged, it's how we are perceiving it. So there is a major transformation coming into, well, no, it's been here. Because first lightning strikes, and then you have this epiphany, and, and then things get shook up, but then this is the rebuilding part. So I do think that there is a transformation, really, that's probably already taken place. Um... So keep working on your transformation. That is part of the issue for you to achieve, you know, what you want to achieve and beat the odds. Uh, the Knight of Cups here is in the reverse. So this may come to you as a message of that if we keep, you know, if, if we keep trying to move forward without um, a plan or a strategy in place or even an, an extra thought to what we're doing, then we might not move that far ahead. So usually if something is stopped, there is a reason why it stopped. So this is like there was movement and now there's, you know, there's this, okay, well, what do we do from here? So it's just going to take some more uh, brainstorming really to figure out um, what's going on with you, how you can get moving better. It is, hmm, this card sometimes comes across as something different to me too. Eye of cups in the reverse. It, for some of you all, beating the odds is simply having that um, ability to know that you can trust in the unseen and that you can truly, uh, you can truly expect something good to come. You can expect something unexpected. So this might be about receiving what you thought was, <laughs> what you expected, but what you thought was unexpected. I don't know how to even say that. I know I'm sounding really stupid <laughs> right now. But it, I mean, it's like running into something and you're like, oh, wow, I never thought this would come. So having the faith that you can believe in yourself, in the unseen, in the offers to come, that's really important. Keeping your spiritual heart with you as you move forward, very important. I have the King of Cups here reverse as another um, thing that can help you beat the odds. Okay, this is about possibly getting uh, wisdom from somebody, maybe somebody who is a healer or somebody who practices Reiki. 
you know, I've had I've had a few long distance healing sessions that really went well for me. Um, I should put the name. I should. Put, one is Lawrence Brock. His name is Lawrence Brock, and he is a doctor. And he does, you know, he'll do the normal stuff with you. But re what he really does is he does energy healing, and um, he just you know, does it through your belief system too. So he does it just really, really good. And, um, it helped me through a really hard time. <clears throat> it helped me when nobody else could figure out what the issue was. So, so there's that. And then this, so this is like continuing your healing process, getting those emotions, you know, under, under control. Um, May, you know, we always have parts of our uh, mind, we have parts that are maybe unconscious, that we're unconscious of, or it is our subconscious directing us, but we get to know more about what we've been keeping inside emotionally, and that stuff coming to the surface can cause like a disturbance in your body, so it's in your electric system, in your nervous system, when you're trying to deal with some really heavy emotions. So, yeah, I think this might be somebody who is, you know, possibly somebody who is, who could help you, or this is you really becoming a master of your own mood uh, by yourself. I, I mean, so that could be this change, this transformation. And there is an issue here that can help you beat the odds here, Leo. A little bit more trust with others and with yourself mainly though because see your arms are out like that a little bit more trust in yourself in your decisions all right so tell us about the change and transformation tell us how leo can beat the odds <clears throat> nice <laughs> you can beat the odds by figuring out how to get out of a temporary situation, but this temporary situation causes some sadness. It's the five of pentacles, but it's in the reverse, guys. So that is how you are able to beat the odds, is that you pulled yourself out of anything. And you pull yourself out, especially of any financial binds. If you are outside, the message from Spirit is you're meant to be on the outside here, if you are. Because you're coming up with an idea that's going to bust you through any kind of adversity, any kind of challenge, maybe even solve your health issues, you know, like I said, either you're going to somebody or maybe um, it's just you with this major transformation. You being on the outside led to your transformation, and I think that's wonderful. So you've grown up a lot, too. That has helped you beat the odds. Um, having more control over our emotions and then showing that you have this strength, you have this tenacity about you. It just screams strength. It screams strength um, and it's, it's beautiful for you, Leo. All right, how do we learn how to trust others more? Except that Life goes through um, different phases here. With Seven of Pentacles energy, you're constantly investing, pulling back out, investing, pulling back out. This is a process just like the cycles of the moon. I look at it like that. I look at things being in different stages. Um, a little bit of a different message than some channelers that uh, don't really, you know, you know, that focus more, um, more or less on things that aren't linear but i do believe here it's good to follow um your own process your own even if things don't look right here because there's something step by step that is um working towards your achievements it definitely is it's working towards your achievements it requires patience because like i said it is one big it's like look at this as like one big gift to yourself but in order to get the gift, there's these things that you do first. There's these steps. Um, we all love having a plan, right? For Leos, surely love having a plan. Not always a Leo thing to do, 
though. I mean, if you're like me, I'm kind of spontaneous sometimes. But do you like to have a plan? Yes, probably. Most people do. Most people find some comfort in a plan. <clears throat> Hmm. What else? What else? I'm going to put this like this because I really think it's supposed to be like that. I think the reason this card came out for you with the picture like this is to trust yourself because this, like this birthing process for this lady, this is natural. This is something that you're meant to do on your own. So you can. And it, and it is a natural process. I guess that's the other message I'm getting. Wow, you have Queen of Cups here too. Open to receiving, um, like I said, either a healing for somebody or um, just open to receiving. Wow. King of Cups. Tell me about getting this. Um, mm, Sometimes this can be anger, and if this is anger, that's okay because, you know, that really helps me when I want to exercise. If I'm really upset, I, if you go out and you walk or uh, tear up paper, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just something that um, lets you get it out of you. That's also a good way. That's how I did it. These are just opinions. This is not meant for medical advice. Let me make that clear. All right, so there is an opportunity for you. I think that that is up because I think that you've already seen this opportunity and seized a lot of it. Now, if you haven't, then you'll know that that's your opportunity and your job is to, for a little while, be on the outside till you can jump in to this beautiful opportunity, find yourself where you didn't think you would be. Sometimes we find what we're looking for in the most unlikely place. I think that really describes uh, why there's a need to lose expectations. Is sometimes you find something um, really beautiful where you didn't expect. So in order to do that, you have to let go of the expectation. That's a beautiful message too. All right. Um, four of Cups energy here. Tuning inward. Tuning inward, really um, feeling at peace, feeling at ease with yourself, maybe dealing with those, um, you know, other thoughts or maybe even like psychic hits, you know, when you're getting, um, I think everybody's always getting information bombarded to them, right? Especially the more everybody else is thinking or worrying or something. So it is important to step back, meditate. Visualizing helps. There's lots of videos on how to visualize. Um, okay. So, what can you do when these thoughts become overwhelming? Well, other ways to help, like these thoughts, if you're getting a lot of thoughts um, that feel like they're just coming and it's, you may be very sensitive to other people's uh, vibes, energy, or thoughts. So if you are, then that's extra, extra important that you exercise, keeping and stretch really good throughout your day because you're keeping that um, energy moving. You're keeping your chi moving in a sense. <laughs> um, of course, my opinion, just my opinion. But I think this has worked for me, and I think it can work for you too visualizing what you want. And you know, when I do my vis visualizations, I don't always have that full picture. I don't always have um, everything filled in, but sometimes I know what body size I want to be, or sometimes I know approximately what views I want to be looking at. You know what I mean? So if you have those parts in your vision, you can start by just adding pieces to your vision every time. That's how I do it, at least. That's how I do it, is that, you know, because sometimes, sometimes I'll procrastinate because I don't have the whole vision yet instead of just starting. So baby steps, and you're definitely coming into huge opportunities here. Good, good, good. I also have temperance energy as underneath the beating the odds. This is because you have a beautiful spirit team. 
you have a beautiful spirit team who loves you. That is my belief, is that you always have assistance. I feel like your angels are always just waiting for you to put your hand out and say, here, um, I'll take help. That, that right there is bravery, and that will help you beat the odds. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse. If it feels like there's too much on you, if it feels like you've got a lot of um, work to do, you can beat the odds by making sure that your light or your load that you're carrying is not too stressful on you. And if it is, then we have to set some of that stuff down sometimes and reprioritize. And nobody knows exactly, you know, your what you go through, what your process is. So as to what to prioritize or how, I think you know that best. Mainly, it, it boils down to you've got to be healthy, body, mind, spirit, you know, first. That's very, very important for things to go along good for you. We have um, devil energy. It's really, it's about, this card is about conditioning, though. It is, um, it is feeling like all your life you've been told what you should do, where you should go, what you should eat, what you should wear. <laughs> you've been, every single decision, it feels like somebody is always standing by and trying to add to your vision. But remember, this is your vision and conditioning is meant to put restraints on you. It's made to kind of hold you back from... Um, yourself. Why? Because you're actually the lion here. You're actually very strong. You're proud. You're um, much more courageous than you know, and you're much more capable than you've been told. You've just probably been told to stay safe. Better safe than sorry, I've heard. Uh, I think that could be applicable in whatever situation. Like, you know, of course, there's some things that we got to be, but um, other things like taking a risk on yourself. Um, I don't know. I think those are good things. I think that's brave. And I think it is trusting the process of breaking free from the metaphorical chains that can bind you from conditioning and, and um, you know, how other people think and view things. Just make sure we think for ourselves. Um, this is really good chemistry. This is your spirit team trying to unwind divine time. So you've got two cards for patience right here in the middle. Um, th this is good. It's like patience in this process. The judgment energy is in the reverse, which I have been kind of um, associating with enlightenment lately. So if it's in the reverse, there is something through this illusion that you still still must see. But I feel like Spirit's saying everything that's going to be revealed to you will be revealed to you in time anyway. It's it's coming anyway. So uh, if you don't feel completely enlightened here, it's you'll, you'll be enlightened. We just have to, one, let go of those, again, judgments, conditions, or self- limiting beliefs about ourselves, right? Which, you know, some of these conditioning beliefs can come from other people, but when you reaffirm them to yourself, now they're yours. So you've claimed that. So that's what you need to just watch out for claiming anything. Don't affirm anything that's uh, negative to yourself ever. <laughs> Okay, and then I have the High Priestess as this issue. Uh, your knowing, your intuition is going to lead you out of whatever financial issue or family health crisis or feeling on the outside. There was a purpose for it. If you found yourself on the outside, the purpose is to find in that moment what you're supposed to do. And sometimes it is just to sit and rest and contemplate. And right here, too... The High Priestess is about your intuition. It is about um, your knowing, your single knowing. The Hierophant, in comparison, is like educating the masses on, uh, you know, old religion or maybe religion now updated versions or something. And 
And the high priestess, in contrast to the hierophant, is like, no, no external control. This is all internal control for me. So you're controlling these things that um, maybe I've even been told to you that you couldn't control. But you do it. And handling your emotions is going to be the most important part. To trust this, um, trust yourself here. Trust whatever this cycle process, whatever you want to call it. Trust whatever it is that you're going through. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then, of course, all of your decisions need to be made with wise discernment. Six of pentacles. We don't always have wise discernment when um, there are things that we're not taking care of exactly for ourselves. So this is really, again, showing importance and taking good care of yourself. Making sure the love that you're giving yourself is reciprocal. You know, you'll see more love outside of you if the more you can give it to yourself. The Six of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles. A give and take. It's a give and take. It's a compromise sometimes. This can be a compromise. It can be a give and take. It's, I'll do this for you. Will you do this for me? Especially in a time where sometimes we don't, you know, things are more expensive and we need to figure out how can this person help me and how can I help them without us breaking the, the budget here, right? So, yeah, network and um, help people, help others. If you want, it's just another opinion and another strategy that I thought of. So, this is your beat, beat the odds against the odds. We're beating the odds reading. <laughs> And it was first experimented on you, Leos. So that's really uh, nice to know that it went well. I think this is just the cards that you can use to help you know that, yes, you're already beating the odds. You're in the middle of this transformation. You're learning how to trust. And you're balancing out your emotions. So that's what I've got for you guys. Oh, goodness, you're always worth it. And sending you love and light. Bye.